Let's go and take a look at what this man who ruled for over 70 years did. He took advantage of the situation that was before him. It is said that it took almost an army of servants to wake him up in the morning. Now, you know how it is. You like to be um, awoken from your slumber particular ways. Some of your parents have their own particular style in how they wake you up. Maybe they'll walk by and they'll give the warning, open the door, hey, good morning, time to wake up. And they'll walk by in about five minutes and if you haven't moved, lights on, curtains open, lift mattress, rotates. <laughs> Maybe they will attach their hand to one's foot and walk away while still holding foot. Maybe they'll take the covers and they'll put the covers somewhere else. Maybe they'll take a cup of cold water. Oh, oh some of you are like, yeah, that wasn't a fun day at all. And you know what? You're a little grumpy when that happens. Some of you, you like for mama to come in there. Hey, Daryl. Daryl. Shh. It's mama. <laughs> Hey, Daryl, it's time for school. Daryl, oh, Daryl, you, you need your favorite blankie? All right, Daryl. Daryl's sitting there going, that's right. That's how it's done. Yep. This is what would happen to this guy. Someone come wake him up. I can just see this happening. Uh, King Louis the Fourteenth. It's, it's time to get up, sir. It's three in the afternoon. <laughs> So someone would, would sit him up. Now remember, he's not paralyzed. But a servant would come over here and they would raise his left arm. And they would slide his arm through his sleeve. And then someone's like, is it my turn? Yeah, your turn. Okay. Wow. I would like to think that if I were that rich, I would still dress myself. <laughs> Some of you think, man, it'd be nice to be that rich. I wouldn't. I'd have someone brush my teeth for me. <laughs> and some people are so lazy. If they had enough money, they'd probably have someone else chew their food up for them. <laughs> or not. All right. Okay, so on that note... Uh, Here's a picture of him on page 241. Wow. I see why I took an army here. Okay. I particularly like the part down the middle of the wig. All right. They have a, that thing is aerodynamic right there. Uh, and uh, really, I'd like to point out how his entire wardrobe matches that piece of furniture behind him. <laughs> Perfectly. Perfectly. Maybe he was shopping and he said, you know what? I got a treasure chest back at my house. I need something that matches that. Wow, look at this. Now, uh, gentlemen, you're probably uh, drawing a lot of attention to the high heel footwear. <laughs> you got to remember, this was the style. And probably 30 years from now, 30 years from now, people will look back at what you wore and go, they've lost their mind. you got to be kidding me. It was a popular thing to kind of accentuate the calf muscle there. And listen, they did that. And it was, it was fashionable. It's fashionable. It was kind of the, the idea that you're going to wear, guys, a super, super tight, skinny t-shirt, so it looks like you've got big muscles, right? Like, oh, man, look at this. I can't even move in this shirt. That's because that's a child's extra, extra small. Okay. That's why it looks like it's painted on you.